So we're here with Mark Singleton, the VP of Sales and Marketing for Southern Recipe. So Mark, the beginning of football season is actually in full swing right now. What does that mean for NFL players everywhere? Oh my gosh, I mean, it's the most exciting time of the year. I mean, college football's in, NFL's in, and, and you know, we've got the Super Bowl on our mind. Uh, we're getting ready for Pork Rind Appreciation Day here at Southern Recipe, and, and we've got plans to make it bigger than ever. So what is, explain to us exactly what Pork Rind Appreciation Day is. Well, uh, about, oh golly, six or seven years ago, my boss, Rich Rudolph, came to me and said, Hey, Singleton, there's a popcorn day, there's a secretary's day, there's a no-work day. How come there's not a pork rind appreciation day? And I said, well, Rich, I'm not quite sure about that, so let me check it out. So we went to our congressman, we went to our governor, and we said, hey, how do you get this done? And we got the governor to uh, declare the first Sunday in in February every year is pork rind appreciation day because what goes better on the biggest pigskin celebration day of the year than pork rinds? And after that, uh, you know, we kind of wanted to help some people. Uh, we're a family-owned company. We've been around almost 60 years. And, and, and so we started looking for a, a group to, to, to work with to raise awareness. And we found Coach Dick and the Gridiron Crates. And it's probably Nate, been the, 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 the most moving, uh, most important thing that we've been associated with in the last 20 years. Uh, Coach Dick does a great job uh, for a bunch of uh, – uh, ex-NFL players that have fallen on hard times. and We're just awfully excited to be a part of it. And Pork Rind Appreciation Day it really helps us kind of highlight what Coach is doing and all the people in need out there. And, and, and uh, we raise a lot of money and awareness for them. And it's just a great, great effort, a great partnership. So go into a little bit of detail about what the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund actually does. like, And who, who are their spokespeople? Well, you know, that, that's the, the, the exciting thing. Last year, uh, we had Bobby Bell as our spokesperson, as you, as you know. Uh, Bobby played in the first Super Bowl, it being the 50th anniversary of the Super Bowl. It was amazing to get his insights and his memories of the game. The year before that, we had Icky Woods. The year before that, uh, we had uh, uh, Lynn Barney. Just you know, real legends of the game that, that want to help Coach Ditka get the word out. Uh, about the Gridiron Greats, and, and years ago, Coach founded a foundation that that, that helps retired NFL players who, who were the pioneers of our game, who contributed unbelievably to our enjoyment, my enjoyment, over the last decades. And and Nate, I don't know whether you're aware, but you know, in the '50s and '60s, these guys didn't make the kind of contracts that they have today, the kind of money that they have today. Right. Yeah. No. I. I absolutely. I've heard that, but I'm I'm part of the new generation. I, heck, I'm only 20 years old. So when I see these players out there now, they're making 27 million off the. I mean, off their first year. Right. And 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 some of the guys in the 50s and 60s. I mean, real legends of the game. Paul Hornig, uh, uh, Leroy Jordan, Bob Lilly. These guys had second jobs in the off season. Some of them had second jobs during the season just to to make ends meet. And so, you know, those guys who sacrificed, you know, so much uh, in their bodies, and and we've heard, you know, we've learned so much the last several years about concussions and head trauma, uh, that that coach felt it was very important to to raise some money and raise some awareness that really provides hands-on assistance to help these players deal with the medical hardships they face after their careers in football. I mean, literally, we have coach has... Uh, pay for knee surgeries, knee replacement, the rehab afterwards um, for players that, 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 you know, the teams won't help them with. And so the services include medical assistance, transportation costs, housing assistance, financial assistance for utilities, medication, just all kinds of things. Uh, but, but just just assistance in getting to, to the doctors. And Shannon Jordan and Coach Dick and the whole staff there at Gridiron Greats just do an amazing job. And their website is gridirongreats.org, and I'd encourage all of your listeners to go there and check it out and, and, and find out more about how Coach Dick and, 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 and we're helping some of these players. That's perfect. And can you share just like some sort of recipe listeners can try so they can pack on the protein like the athletes? You know, it's crazy, Nate. You know, most people don't even know what pork rinds are. I mean, all we are is protein. 
you know, uh, one serving of pork rinds has nine grams of protein, zero grams of carbs. It's got the lowest glycemic index of any salty snack. And we have five grams of monos- monosaturated fat. That's, that's you know, over half of our fat is the good fat, like olive oil or tuna fish. So, you know, there's a lot of undercover pork rind lovers out there at night, especially in your area. And, uh, you know, we're getting the story out because if you're on a high-protein diet, if you are, are, are pre-diabetic, if you are working out hard every day, uh, or if you're on a low-carb diet, you know, give pork rinds a chance. You know, it's not a tangerine, but by golly, I think you'll be surprised at, at what it really is and, and, and what the nutritions really say. And uh, where can our listeners learn more about the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund? Where, the, where can they help out um, or the Southern, or find Southern Recipe and learn about all the new Southern Recipe small batch? Uh, well, uh, obviously, the, the, the greatest thing we can ask your listeners to do is go to www.gridirongreats.org. Once again, that's www.gridirongreats.org. Check out what Coach Dick and Shannon are doing for these these really legendary football players. If you'd like to learn more about pork rinds, you can go to porkrinds.com or southernrecipe.com. As a matter of fact, we've got over 90 recipes for cooking with pork rinds in there, including my favorite, especially for football season, our skinny dipping chicken wings. That sounds really good. Now, what are the skinny dipping chicken wings? Well, all you do is you take your regular chicken wing, you dredge it in a little egg dredge, maybe with some hot sauce in there, you roll it in crushed pork rinds, Throw it on a baking sheet, throw it in the oven. You've got a baked chicken wing, not fried, that's covered with incredibly delicious low-carb pork rinds. And uh, I think it'll be one of your, your game day staples if you'll try it out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mark. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to join us. Well, Nate, make sure I went to SMU, so I can't wait for the Temple game this year. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll try and talk again before that. Oh, absolutely. Please. All right, Nate. Y'all have a great evening. You too, sir. Bye-bye. Bye.